Perhaps it is a sign of the times, perhaps something worse, but Max is in need of a new home tonight. The pooch was stranded one week ago in a West End City Park, his owner only leaving a short note explaining the heartbreaking decision. CTV Scott Lightfoot joins us now to explain what's happened. Scott. Well, Nathan, today officials at the Toronto Humane Society were able to get in touch with Max's owner. The family says that while well, they are heartbroken, they feel it is best that he have a new home. It is a sad tale, but it is one official say is part of a bigger picture, problems facing pet owners. Oh my God, look at you. Oh, I can't wait for you to go home. It was a social media post from the Toronto Humane Society highlighting the story of Max, an almost four-year-old dog, abandoned by his owner in a Davenport area park last week. Attached to Max, a note from that owner saying he had lost his job and housing and could no longer afford to care for the dog he described as a good boy. Just being able to provide the basic needs to our pets is becoming more difficult. Max's story shining a spotlight on an issue being faced by a number of pet owners who are struggling with the cost of caring for those pets. It's hard. I'm a senior citizen and the money is tight. I mean, cat food's not cheap. Ivy Chrysler has three cats and like many is feeling the financial pinch of pet ownership. The food and uh, like everything's expensive nowadays. It's costing too much. So I go to a cheaper event that's not around where I live. At this morning's Community Day, held outside the Toronto Humane Society on River Street, members of the community had the chance to pick up things like food, bedding, toys, and leashes that had been donated. Everything's so expensive. And this place here, they're godsend. I mean, we can come down um, sometimes two, three times a week and get cat food or dog food. Community Day is just one of the services that the Toronto Humane Society is offering to people who are having trouble taking care of their pets. We are seeing an increase in, in that support that is needed within the community. Uh, right now, we have 90 animals in our urgent care program. And in last year, 2022, there was over 300. Um, so already we're currently seeing about a 33% increase. That urgent care program allows pet owners to have their pets fostered for up to a year if they're facing a crisis or challenging circumstance. There are also public veterinary services and support networks. The Humane Society says they will work with pet owners to find viable ways to keep animals and families together, even when financial times are tough. Sometimes all you have is your cat or your dog. And this is just a big thing that will be really important to us. Now, the Toronto Humane Society says they attempt to do one community day a month. You can check their website for details on when the next community day will be. As for Max, we're told he will now begin the adoption process here. We're told he is in the building here. We're also told that a number of families have already stepped forward to say they would be interested in taking him home. Reporting live on River Street, I'm Scott Lightfoot. Nathan, back to you.